Hey guys, have you ever wondered how to find a tournament near you or even one online and just and just can't seem to find any answers? Well hopefully in this video you will learn exactly how to find those tournaments that you have been looking for for quite a while. Just to mention, I am not being sponsored with any of these websites and I'm not getting any money off this video or off them. So, if you want to find these websites, you're going to have to look them up on Google yourself or with the addresses that I tell you because I'm not going to be posting them in the description. The first type of tournament that I'd like to talk about is the local tournament. Now these can be run by a single person, just in their house, or maybe run at a huge location. It is all independent. Now first you should look up your state slash where you live in the world's name, and then add Smash Tournament on the end of it and Google that. This is a very simple way that may lead you to find some of the most fun and entertaining tournaments nearby near you. Now if you don't want to have as much of a chance aspect on this, I would recommend looking up websites like Tourney Locator and other websites that can look up tournaments. These websites are meant for people to find tournaments near you that have the same interest in Smash Bros. They're pretty competitive most, and most of the time can be pretty difficult. The main benefit is that there is no lag and that the opponent won't really skip you as much and will actually play all the rounds. The problem is that this will take a lot more time and they are usually pretty far away. If you do have the time or are really lucky to live near one, then I would recommend to go one. www.tourneylocator.com though isn't the only website to find locations like this. You can also just look them up on Smash Bros tournaments, locations, on Google's or Smash Bros tournament locators, whatever you want. This search can help you find websites that are like this website but aren't exactly the same. Different websites will have different terms listed, so do make sure to check out as much websites as you can. The second way to find location tournaments that are local to you is to simply look it up on Facebook and see if you can find pages that have active players that are playing the game nearby. They might have things in their house or at a local card game shop, anything like that, or you can make your own. So yeah, that's one of them. If you do happen to not find one, you should make your own page. If you do make a page, you could maybe start something big in your area, and that would be pretty cool. Make sure to start a page if you do not have one in your area, and if you do have one in your area, go support them. It's really fun to go to local scenes. Now I'll talk about ways to get into online tournaments. This section will apply to a lot more people because not everyone is lucky enough to live next to an active competitive scene. The three websites I'm going to talk about are very different and give different experiences, but they do allow you a good tournament beginning experience. The first way is to find tournaments through Smash Boards. Now this website can be a little notorious for not having the most competitive tournaments, but they aren't way too bad. In order to find them on this website, you must go onto Smash Boards website, and then go onto the Tournaments tab or just look up Smash Boards Tournaments on Google or any search engine that is of your choice. After you get this, you'll need to create an account, and that only takes a few minutes. After that, you can look online for tournaments in the future. The nice thing is that you will know exactly when these tournaments start, but the one annoying thing is that you can't get rid of that craving to play in a tournament immediately. These tournaments are usually pretty big, and I personally do enjoy them quite a lot, and if you really like playing tournaments, this will be a good place for you to go, but if you hate waiting for tournaments to start up, and you hate for all that startup time and weeks of waiting, then this is not the website for you. The next place I'm going to talk about is Anthers Ladder. Now this website is really cool. It's a bit different than the others and it's a really good thing in this occasion. On this website you can do a ladder mode, or rank mode as I like to call it. This allows you to fight enemies that are better than you, and as you fight better enemies you can get better, and your rank will go up so you'll keep fighting better people, or if you lose, you'll fight people that are more close to your skill level. Now this really isn't something new to games, I mean in League and Dota they pretty much have that, but in Smash it's really nice to have this great feature from this website. One of the best features is that this website does have instant games, meaning that you do not need to wait that long. This is the main charm about the website that makes me go there quite a lot because I do not have to wait the weeks. Now it also does have tournaments with signups, but there's usually not that much. As of right now there's only two and they're by the same people, so don't expect a ton of long term tournaments from this website. If you're craving an instant competitive match, then this is the website for you. But if you like long tournament matches and like to be place number one, this probably isn't what you're looking for and you should go back to Smash Boards. The final thing I'm going to talk about really isn't as competitive at all. This is for people that really just want a semi-competitive experiment and a semi-competitive experience. So if you want to do this, you won't get super good, but it's a really fun option in my opinion. The thing I'm talking about is playing tournaments on Twitch.tv streams. Now if you love getting some attention from winning matches, then this is the place for you. This will be the best place for instant recognition and very fun matches overall. One big problem is that sometimes, depending on the streamer, they can start way off schedule, even hours, and a lot of the players don't show up sometimes, making it very late, making it hard to play sometimes. 
Even with those negatives though, I do think that this is one of the funnest ways. Let's say that you have tried all these things, actually tried them, tried to have them be good, and none seem that good to you, which I really hope doesn't happen. Well in that case, you must try to make a tournament with your friends. To do this, you'll just have to set it up and keep your mind on it. Now this only works if you do have a lot of friends, at least 8, 10-ish, that do like Smash Brothers, but if you do happen to be that lucky, this will probably be the best course of action. This is personally my favorite way to have Smash tournaments. Thank you all for watching my video. If you did enjoy or found some new websites that will enhance your competitive experience, then leave a like down below. Tell me in the comments what questions you have, because it is kind of like a questions and answer thing. Not really, but it's a kind of how-to questions and answers. So if you do have any questions about things like tournaments, anything like that, I'll try to answer them in the question and the comment section below. Once again, thank you all for watching, and I will see you all next time.